some real French purse. This is for trying to get finish this section along here. We got a few French posts then. There's there's there. Of course we got a lot more to get in going out of way. To get over to that tree line over there. And we got some trees to cut out. up to the next section of fence that we've been working on cutting some trees out we finally got the fencing ran and got the last patch last section of perimeter fence done so let me get up there and I'll show you that what's left of the one roll Like it's still up. This was the final stretch on this um, west side of the perimeter fence of the farm. We finally got this last patch. We still have a couple fence posts to put in and some more fence posts to take down that were a temporary fence where we ran the electric fence. And of course we got a slew of saplings to cut out. We cut out a bunch right there. Trees that fallen. There's a pile of it there. There's a pile of it there. But we got it done. Let me get out of here. Down here in the cold. So now the fencing goes all the way back. Problem was right there. They were deer bedding down. And I'm still a little bit concerned. They're not going to notice the fences here, and it would be knocking it down. So we got to keep checking it. But it's done. It's us trying to get an early start on spring. It's cold though. Hopefully, it's going to warm up we were sitting in the later. To my surprise, a rustling bush, a flash of green, and a pair of twinkling eyes. He was running through the bushes, hiding in the holes. He said, quick now, come and catch me, then you'll have my gold. Well, I'm really quite amazing, for one as small as me. Be gosh and be gora, I'm a leprechaun, you see.